What's up? Welcome back to episode 10. You might be surprised. The podcast where I kind of just ramble, talk about stuff that I think is funny. It's a comedy podcast. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you like this episode. What's up, guys? What's up? My name's Chris, if you don't know. It's episode 10. Episode 10 of this podcast, man. I've been doing this for 10 weeks straight. It's crazy. It's crazy. I've had a weird week. Like a really weird week. And I I didn't know if I wanted to do a podcast of just like talking about the elephant in the room, Chris D'Elia. Just specifically on that or if I just want to touch on it. I came to the conclusion that um, I just want to talk about it and give my thoughts on it. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a podcast with another podcaster. Um, more, if you follow me on social media and stuff, that's where you'll find it. Um, I'll be posting about that. Um, his name is, I can't think of his name right now. I'm horrible right now. Um, his at is Joey Juice. He has a podcast called The Juice Box, which I think is a dope name. And I'll get to how I met him here in a second. But if you don't know, Chris D'Elia. Chris D'Elia, this is just like what I'm just reading. It's been really hard for me for this, and I'll tell you why in a sec. But um, Chris D'Elia has been accused of sexual harassment and misconduct including soliciting nudes from minors by a growing list of women this week and um you know at first i was like nah (sighs) and i still am torn on if it's true or if it's not true, um, I'm not picking one way or the other right now. I'm going to wait for a response from him because his response will say it all. And um, if you've listened to the past 10 episodes, you'll know that like I've praised this dude. He is the reason why I want to get into comedy and even start a podcast. <laughs> like... I love his podcasts. And um, if it is true, just shame on you, man. It hurts. It, it, it hurts so much. Especially from the one person that I didn't think. Like, if you're not part of the log cabin and just know his personality and stuff, he's always promoting just being yourself and having a... F- a goofy time and it hurts knowing that the one person that you thought that you could always count on even if you don't even know him like or like i like i don't even know him but like the one person who every week i knew there's gonna be a podcast that would help me through work and um someone i truly looked up to and just know that this could be a possible possibility that he's done this and it hurts it hurts. Um, watching Brendan Schaub and Brian Callen speak on it. Um, Brian being uh, one of his closest friends. Brian being the guy that helped him get started in comedy. Um, and Brendan, dude. Uh, this, this, I saw this. Uh, some Twitter account posted their reaction to it. And I was at the gym when I saw it. And just seeing Brendan cry. I it got me teary eyed just at the fact of this because I was so angry and just so just dumbfounded on the situation and still am. And it hurts, man. Um, the only good thing that came out of this was meeting Joey Juice and him and I doing a podcast about it and finding somebody who also loves comedy. And um I also had like this tweet on this like tweet thread that got like 20,000 impressions or something like that. The screenshot will be up. I don't even know if I want to like promote that as being good about this. I just, 
I don't know, man. I don't know. I really don't. It hurts. I I mean, it just hurts. It hurts. But besides that heavy, heavy intro, <laughs> my life this week has just been nuts. <laughs> oh, there, there is something funny about this podcast that I have planned out. Just, just, just let me ramble. This may be a comedy podcast, but it's also a freaking diary for me. Okay, it's a diary for me. Oh, uh, bro, I'm so depressed. Come on, dude, my life's been a mess this week. I started. Well, last weekend I went camping, and the dude, fuck camping. I did. Who? I don't understand the the enjoyment of camping. You literally, there's a reason why we have houses. Is because we found out sleeping outside sucks. So why are we going back to it? I don't know. I get camping. I get it. Stars. Drinking. Bonfire. People. But also. I could just sleep in my bed. I So last week I went camping. That was meh and i drank and i don't normally i haven't drank that much in a while and so i hung over sunday didn't really get much done sunday and then sunday night uh steve cook a gym shark guy was like yo dude well not yo not to me i don't know him but uh a video of his summer sizzle and um i've been trying to better myself mentally and i've always wanted to be jacked and like I'm, I've, I've always been strong, but I want the body, you know, like and part of me is doing it so I can work on myself so then I can attract girls that, um, are also doing that in relationship and life and stuff. And I'm just wondering when that's going to happen. Like I've been working on myself for months now and, um, yeah, nothing. I mean, it could be because Corona, man, Corona is the biggest cock block ever. So many people's game just went down. <laughs> Corona is such a cock block. Anyways, I've been working on myself. And dude, I started this gym grind, bro. And I'm about it because I want it. I'm about it because I want it. I, I'm about it because I want it. But man, it's my like, I just have no more. Like I get... I go work or I go to the gym early in the morning. I just got back from the gym. I'm sweaty. Cut. Oh, get this. Get this. Okay. My shower got cocked. Yeah, my shower got cocked. Okay. So the heat from the shower, I can't shower because it got cocked. So because my shower got cocked, I have to go to bed sweaty. And then I'm going to wake up at six o'clock in the morning and go to the gym. So I'm going to be double sweaty. I'm, I'm, I'm going to smell so bad. Okay, just because my shower got cocked. My shower got cocked, so I have to go to bed sweaty. And then I have to wake up, go to the gym, sweaty. Because my shower got cocked. Am I having fun saying cocked? Yeah, I am. So I'm doing this gym thing. And man, let me tell you, my diet's ass. Okay? <laughs> My diet is garbage, dude. It's like, it's like not even funny how bad it is. I mean, okay, it's not bad, but I, uh, it's like, uh, you know, trying to better myself so I can attract others. I mean, I'm doing it for me, but I'm also doing it so I look more attractive to girls. And so, like, I have to make minor fixes and stuff. So, like, if you could see my room right now, it's, uh, it's a mess. I also spent $400. Okay, hold on. Mm -mm. Rewind. I spent $200 on Old Navy because they were having like this stupid, crazy big sale. So you're I, like your boy. I got the sick jacket that's sitting over here. Only half of my clothes showed up. Package was so big that they could only ship half. So uh, that's my life, dude. That's my life. My idol sends nudes to minors 
and gym stuff, dude. <laughs> Uh, who am I supposed to look up to now in the comedy scene? Like Brendan Schaub, yeah, you, you, you guys obviously know I look up to Brendan, but I guess I have to start looking up to Burt Kreischer. But he smells and fucks dogs, so he's not he's not much better than Chris. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna tweet that at him. Love you, Burt. Even though you don't know me, I love you. Oh, all right. All right. Oh, man. Yeah, dude. 10 weeks, 100 downloads. 100 downloads in 10 weeks. I'm I'm pretty, you know. Slow progress is progress. Whatever you got to tell yourself to sleep at night. So, um, there's this video, right? There's this video, right? Oh my gosh. You guys have to see that if you have Twitter, you've seen it. I'm sure it's just going everywhere. And um, this, I literally saw this five minutes ago and didn't even throw it in my notes. I just, I just have to talk about this. So this is in T Tulsa. I don't even know where Tulsa is. Okay, that's on. Where's Tulsa? Why do I feel like it's Arizona or New Mexico? Where is it? Tulsa, Oklahoma. Wow. I'm off. So Tulsa, Oklahoma. All right. You know, 2020 president election besides the whole world just being crazy right now. Um, you ever just see things online and just like wonder like how these people became to be like, I would love an origin story for like, for like, uh, the, for the, for like Charlie bit my finger. Okay. I just want like, like, like that day. Why did the mom put a phone on her kid? Like why? Like she had no idea that she just created a, like a billion, the most, one of the most viewed clips in history. And there's this family in Tulsa, Oklahoma, that I just now found out was a place. Because uh, who goes there? And um, the president election, and it's this family, right? <laughs> it's this family singing a jingle for Trump. Okay? Just, uh, just let me play it for you, and then we can talk about it. Okay? Here. So bad. Dude, the dad's wearing red sneakers. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I saw this and I just want to know like 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 how and why. Actually, I know how and why, okay? It's a family, I'm guessing, okay? It's a family. Family of one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe six, okay, yep, six people, okay? There's a dad, a mom, and four girls. They're all wearing Trump 2020, keep America great. And, uh, like, how, what, like, I just want to know, like, how they discussed this. Like, how did they come up and think about making a song for Trump? Like, it's definitely the dad's idea because he's wearing white pants and red shoes. So, like, this is how, like, I imagined it, you know, Corona just hit. You know, and this is, I mean, just looking at them, upper middle class, okay? And they're just, man, like, like, what can we do to pass the time? And the dad's like, well, we all voted for Trump. 
And, you know, we want him again. But how can we let people know that we're not, that we're about it? And one of the four daughters, probably the girl with the guitar is like, you know what? Okay. You know what? I got the best idea. We're going to make a song. Like, uh, like, like the song from, uh, uh, the, the, the Sweet Child of Mine song singing in the car, Forget the Movie. Someone in the comments remind me. Like that. This family puts that family to rest. This family had... Uh, hey, man. Props to them. Props to them for putting it all together. Okay? <laughs> but, I like... Like... Like the dad... I, I, there, was a, <laughs> there was a tweet. That said, hey, you know your dad's gay, right? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, gosh. Like, four girls. The uh, it, Like, it had to be over breakfast. They're like, the dad comes down. He, he's just not having a good, good day. He's like, family, gosh Dang it, I don't know what to do. The world's in shambles. What can we do to help? Daughter with the guitar. I got it. Daddy, I got it. We all love Trump. The dad's like, yes, we do. We do. But how can we let people know where it's kind of okay? The girl stares across the room. There's a guitar singing the light. She turns, she's like, Mom, Daddy, Angelica, Christy, Becky, we all sing, right? We all know Dad does, because he's gay. Let's make a song about Trump 2020. And the rest is history. The rest is history. That I, That's honestly how it, it went, and you can't change my mind. It's honestly how it went. Also, this family is probably the family that will come and kill you during the purge. You, uh, you know the um, 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 purge. Oh, gosh. Let me... Um, I'm thinking of a very specific photo of, like, the uh, prom dress. One purge prom there's like a yeah like uh just uh, yeah that that family definitely takes part of the purge trump 2020 60 more days until i can kill you in the purge i'm just i'm just thinking that's how that went i'm just thinking that's how that went that family imagine that song imagine imagine it's the purge and you see like this family and you get smoked gas and you get knocked out. And the next thing you know, you're in a warehouse and you're from a rope just swinging back and forth. And you're like barely coming awake and you just hear and you just hear and you hear this. But but very quiet and you just hear <laughs> and you hear a sword dragging on the ground vote trump 2020 and it's just the girls wearing the purge masks one playing playing the guitar she freaking smashes the guitar on you that's just that's just that's just how it goes that's how it goes if you're that family that's the only thing you have left to do like, what do you do? Like, you, you can't. You have to be that family now. If there's a purge, that's the family that's going to end up the craziest. And maybe not, you know? Like, let, let's think about this in, like, a white suburban place. Still scary. And yeah, like, there's, like, there's no other way. It's still scary. Oh, Trump. 
2020. <sighs> Gosh, their lives are over after that video. Huh? Right? They have, they have to be. They have to be. Oh my gosh, so many Instagram clips, dude. So many Instagram clips, dude. Oh my gosh, what? What else do I have in my notes? I'm I'm just, <laughs> this podcast, if I'm being completely honest, I've literally had n- nothing really planned out, and so far it's turning out to be a sick episode 10. Oh boy, speaking of crazy things, did you, uh, You guys know about uh, MGK? This man. This man. Okay. MGK. And I've been messing with him. I've I've been messing with his music for a while. Machine Gun Kelly in one year is probably the MVP for him. If you like most people are, are having a shit year. Not Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly is probably completed the best trio his his three p is better than jordan's okay let's just think about this machine gun kelly in one year the year's not even over it's what are we like six months in january february march april may june six months in okay yes i still count that out okay you do too don't act like you don't six months in machine gun kelly has had a thing with Chantel, Chantel, Jeffries, joint. Just an absolute gorgeous girl. Okay? And then he's like, nah, didn't work out. So who does he start to talk to next? I don't know. Like, he'll probably go back to some just like, okay, girl. No, no. Machine Gun Kelly goes to Summer Rae. Honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's an upgrade or like an even playing field. Like for him, like I wonder. I mean, Summer Rae definitely has more followers and is like the biggest model right now, besides uh, Kendall Jenner and like Kyrie or not Kyrie, the Jenners and uh, the Card. Dashians. It's like those two and then Summer Ray. Okay. And then like Summer Ray didn't work out. Bummer. Like he's like he can't go up from here. He's had two of the baddest girls in the world. <sighs> I wish I could be him, dude. I really do. And then he starts just Talking to Megan Fox. Every high schooler's first first celebrity crush. You know when you saw her in Transformers that you got a little happy, if you know what I mean. She was so hot in Transformers. And she's still hot now. (sighs) 2020 is crazy, man. 2020 is the most craziest thing in the world the only one who's winning is machine gun kelly i'm over here just trying to better myself 20 almost 24 23 working nine to five eight to four creating a podcast on the side i have problems with liking myself and then there's machine gun kelly just runs through chantal jeffrey Jeffries, Megan Fox, Summer Rae. And I think I know why. It's because they want to fix him. They see him and they want to fix him. That's the only reason that makes sense. And because he has a hog. He's got a piece on him. We all know it. He was a porn star, right? Before rapping? Before his hit Wild Boy? I don't know, dude. My head hurts. I'm tired. I have to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning so I can still work out and push weights. I don't know what that sound effect was. It was me, like, going to make a push noise. Like, eh, yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. I don't know. If you're listening this far, sorry about the last episode. 
I, I was messing around trying to play sounds with my computer and it made audio noise and it's like within the first 30 seconds of a podcast and if you know for audio if your fucking audio sucks then everyone's gonna stop listening so that uh that's that man that's that um i came up with the idea um i took a photo of this i came up with the idea for this podcast that i'm just gonna start doing i mean i've been kind of doing it for the past couple episodes but um I wrote out a business plan or like i'm forgetting words that dude i can't think i worked eight hours got up at six went to the gym i'm tired dude i just do this for fun because i love it um i think i want to take this podcast as just like my funny opinions on what's going on in the world and just like that's i mean that's like what i do i mean and talk about Machine Gun Kelly running through mm, girls <laughs> and the crazy uh, family that will kill you in the purge. And I mean, Chris Talia, it's just it's just my things. And um, I mean, I I mean, people people get famous and grow a falling for fruit or for dumb things. So why can't I give my opinions about things and grow a following? And like, I mean, yeah, man, I'm going to take over the world, Mark. Mark my words. I'm going to take over the world. I know it. So. All right, man. Girls. Guys. Whoever listens. That is it. That is it. One, 10 weeks. 10 episodes. The first 10 episodes. 10 weeks. 100 downloads. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. You know what's up. Please make sure to follow me on Twitter at the underscore Chris Lynch. Follow me on Instagram or follow the podcast on Instagram. It's literally just you might be surprised. And this podcast is available on every podcasting app because I'm a baller and I don't cut corners. And if you're listening to this on audio, check out the YouTube, you know. I mean, I create both. And if you're listening to this on video, check out the audio. Put me in your pocket, man. I can be your pocket Chris. Whenever you're lonely, you can just put on pocket Chris. I'll whisper sweet things into your into your ear. So I'm excited. I, you know, doing a podcast every week, you, you see a lot of me, you know? You, you get to know the real me. I'm just trying to start a fan base here. Now, Delia, before he did what he did had had a cabin i'm i'm just i'm just trying to i'm i'm just trying to get a couple friends to hop on my back and we can go climb mount everest so i'll see you guys at the top i've been chris you've been beautiful thank you guys so much for watching peace out you're